Hey, what's up everybody? Oh, Spirit just gave me a message. Oh, one of these piles. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you which one. Oh, but anyway, what's up everybody? It's Pabalone here coming to you with another video. I don't want to take too long. My energy has been fluctuating. I don't know how y'all been feeling. Like, I've been tired as fuck. Like, I feel like I slept for thousands of hours yesterday and was still tired when I woke up. So, I'm blaming it on the on the planet. I'm in a good mood, but I've just been tired. But I am feeling motivated right now to do this reading. So as you guys can see from the title above, we are going to be doing... So what my intention is, is for you guys to pick a pile. We got one, two, three, and four. And we're going to do like, not just a what do you need to know. It's going to be your general reading. This is going to be a personalized general reading for you hopefully it resonates if it doesn't then i need it wasn't for y'all okay don't force it but um yeah i want to tap into that so with my general readings or with this one specifically i'm going to do overall messages what's coming through from your guys your spiritual team whatever um and then also career love um maybe even what you're shifting into things like that like just the overall general kaboom boom okay but right here we got the major we got our major messages so again go ahead and pick a pile based off of what you need to know what's for you what you need to hear again we have pile one pile two pile three and pile four okay so go ahead and pick your pile and oh don't forget Timestamps are in the description and anything else that you need in order to get the most out of this reading and also this channel will be in the description box down below, okay? So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Okay, pile one. I'm just going to be very honest. This is going to be a very specific pile. Um, so this will either be for you or it won't, okay? And that is okay. But this is like the one pile that I know is very specific. And yeah, can I be honest? Okay. Listen. What I'm being told to tell you guys is there needs to be a sense of truth around your community or whatever it is that you have around you, okay? Um, I don't know. For some of you guys, it could be a toxic relationship. It could be a codependency. It could be um, friends that always go out and smoke and are trying to put you back in a place that you don't want to be. You know, maybe you're trying to become sober with certain things or maybe you're just trying to, you know, do have a different regimen. It seems like there's people around you um, that are serving as bad influences. Now, for others, this may just very well be a toxic connection to a friend, a family member, a boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, I'm also hearing something about the environment, like a workplace. It's something that I feel like you guys kind of feel bound to. Um, I also feel like whatever this is, is familiar. Um, oh my gosh, I just got Novocaine. <laughs> I don't know why um, I keep hearing drugs, 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 but I don't know. Yeah, there's something here, and my fucking hands are so, they're not ashy, but they're not giving. <laughs> the glow that I need them to give, honey, so give me a second. I'm gonna let you just, you know, sit and simmer on what I just said. Okay, I'm back. So, the thing about it is, and I don't know whose name starts with R, I heard Randy, Randolph, that might not be somebody's name, it could be first, middle, initial, Rachel, Rochelle, Raylan, I don't know. But this is what I want to tell you. I just, you know, what Spirit wants me to let y'all know is that you guys can have a breakthrough if you decide to walk away from and disconnect from whatever this is. It may be hard. It may seem like you're not going to have something to replace it. But I keep hearing from spirit and I've seen the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck that whatever you lose, because it's really not a loss, honey, whatever this is needs to go. Whatever you separate yourself from in order to grow as a person and put yourself in a better position and do that unapologetically, by the way. But anyway, whatever it is that you're separating from, it's going to be replaced with something that is 10 times better. A better relationship, better friendships, a better job, a better workplace, um, a better 
health, like your wellness. Um, anxiety may be even decreasing. You know, I don't want to get too much into health stuff, but it just seems like you guys are depending on something because you feel like, I don't want to say you feel like it's the end all be all, but there's something better for you. And I don't want to get too into it because I don't want to offend. Because I do feel like for some of you guys, it is something to do with the drug addiction. Oh, so we have the devil here, Capricorn energy. Here we go, coming in hot. Okay, we have foundation with Jabiru. I think that's how you pronounce it, the jellyfish flow. These could be very um, symbolic type of uh, symbols for you guys. We also have flamingo community, kingfisher peace, and we have cardinal passion. Um, so you guys don't know what any of these <laughs> mean or like what they're for because I pulled them for a specific reason. Let me turn on this light. But y'all, I, I don't know. I really feel like there may be something um, in your life that's like, I don't want to say it's taken from your life force or nothing like that, but it's like, I just got that song. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. I don't know what this is. It just seems like, I don't know. Ask yourself, do I need to be here? Do these people need to be in my life? I don't know who that's for and I don't want to drag it. Um, but it seems like, because I clarified the devil card and I got foundation and I got flow. We have 20 and we have 6. I feel like there is something that is in your life that you have felt very comfortable with and you have, you know, created some type of bond, but ask yourself, is this healthy? Do I need to take a step back? Do I need to separate and become more independent? Do I need to release whatever this is? What is it that the future has for me? How can I better myself? Because I feel like there's something here with this. I don't know. It's something here with this jellyfish and this. Okay, also, with this flamingo community peace and passion um if y'all have been feeling lethargic um if your creativity has been you know fluctuating i'm just gonna i don't want to touch on it too long because i want to get into the messages but all i'm gonna say y'all is some of you guys need to put yourself in a better position in regards to community and who you let in because it seems like your peace and your sense of peace is being, um, ooh, I just had the word, is being threatened by whatever this is you feel like you're chained to. Let me, because mm -mm, I can't leave it like that. Can you please give me one more card about the devil card? Please clarify the devil card. We got to let it go, y'all. It might be uncomfortable. I know this is comfortable, and it may be uncomfortable, but yes, Ace of Voices, the Ace of Swords. Turning your back to the bullshit. This, this is clarity. This is the truth. This is facing the truth. Some of y'all been having a hard time facing the truth. Why this is coming out as the general reading, I'm not sure. But this lets me know, possibly, that y'all have some major shifts coming in. And in order for you to really walk into your purpose, and for some of y'all, it might not even be that deep. You know, if you don't want it to be that deep, then it don't got to be that deep. But for y'all to really go through, shine your light, be yourself, be authentic, be happy, be at peace, there needs to be a sense of clarity around what the problem is. And it seems like, I'm not going to point no fingers to any specifics, but it's something to do with the foundation. And I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all been getting an inkling. And that's all I'm going to say. You know, I'm not going to, I don't want to step on no toes. I'm not here to do none of that. I'm just saying though, like we know what this is with this Ace of Swords. It's just, when you go, when you go face this and like be real with yourself. Someone's not being real. Now that's not going to be for everybody. But if you got a little twinge of being <laughs> offended, that might have been for you. I don't know. But let's see. Okay, um, for some of you guys too, it's almost giving me this vibe of maybe some of y'all are trying to be with somebody and y'all really love each other. This is separate while I'm getting these messages together. But it's almost like there's like a, a real, who is this controlling figure? Is this like a boss? Is this like a parent? Is this, it's like someone's really like trying to keep you boxed in. This could even be ideologies from the past. Maybe a parent told you you wasn't gonna be shit. Let's just be honest, or a teacher. And it's like, as you try to progress, and really like find peace in this world and like go to school or do whatever it is that you're doing in order to like further your development. It seems like you keep going back to that. Whoever the fuck this is, you know what I'm saying? Whoever this is to you. Okay. Let me separate. 
I'm only got one hand, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Let me put this down. <sighs> Let me clear. The reason why I don't like this is because I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to be set free, but there's fear because of something that someone has either told you or it's something around what you find to be comfortable. Some of y'all have found comfort in the bullshit that people have said to you. You know, we all have been there. It's almost like it's became a part of your identity, but you could feel your soul trying to break free. Honey, this is getting deep. Okay. But anyway, just know if y'all make this disconnect, especially if that's already been resonating, there's going to be whatever you lose, quote, quote, or get rid of. Really, it's not even a loss. It's going to be replaced with better. Okay. So for power one, general reading for power one. Overall energy, anything else extra? Overall energy, three cards, please. Power one, those that chose power one. Why am I getting that um, movie? Helen Keller just came through. Okay. So we do have the Page of Cups, the world, mm, that ending, the Six of Wands, and the wheel. It's about gosh darn time that you walked away from this and if you already walked away from this and you're like oh yeah p you pulling up on that energy that i just came out of you know i was questioning myself because you know i had to let a lot of shit go and at first you know i was feeling a little shaky this is the confirmation that you about to walk into some greatness honey okay but anyway doesn't matter where you sit in this reading this is going to be the end like the ending the outcome at least in this chapter what's happening in career for my pile one Ooh, we got some competition at the, the workplace. Some of y'all planning on breaking free from a job. I could already feel that. You just feel stuck, claustrophobic. You're suffocating a little bit. Let me put this back. What's happening in work? Okay. Look at that, the Ace of Cups. A lot of Ace energy. So um, there's two different things I'm getting for everybody here. So give me one second. What about love? What can you tell me about love? Love for power one, what to expect? Ooh, no, 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 no. Okay, some of y'all have, um, ooh, dang it. <laughs> I'd love to see it. I'm, I don't know why I feel like there's someone that you guys disconnected from that might be having a revelation about you. It's like back then they kind of played on you a little bit, but now it's like they're, they're wanting to come back. But I feel like you guys are, you're on to bigger and better. You need a bigger fish. That's really what it's giving. And someone I think is in their head about that. That's for some of you guys. Yeah, Six of Swords, you are choosing to move into something better. Okay, now I gotta ask about this. Can you tell me, what are you guys trying to tell me about this? The love from the Six of Swords, okay. I'm going to read this multiple ways. Put yourself where you need to because this is a general reading. Okay, starting up here with these overall messages with the Page of Cups, the World, Six of Wands, and the Wheel cards. You could definitely be a fixed sign such as Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, maybe even Cancer. Um, yeah, so this is the thing. Overall, everything that I just said is coming through in some capacity here. With this Page of Cups, if you guys have been getting this feeling of wanting new, it's like, I don't know, with this Page card, I'm almost getting like a mature sense of endless possibilities because you are ready to move forward. You already completed that chapter, whatever that means for you. Either you starting to have that revelation around what needs to go, who needs to go, and blah, blah, or you already had it. And because of that, whenever, whichever part you're at, whether you've already reached it and you're walking into this, or whether you're someone who's just now having this revelation, once you decide to get rid of it, honey, and you know, really step out as uncomfortable as it may be, I'm telling you, you guys are gonna be unstoppable. Overall, I see a lot of success around you. For my people who have social media platforms, this is giving real big energy around success, publicity, more numbers, okay, even more money. The thing about this is, y'all already done been through a lot. You done been through multiple, um, mm, I just heard abusive connections or just just settling for less in certain areas of your life and you're not having it. You're done with that, okay? And that's what spirit wants me to relate to you guys. You're done with that. Remember that. You know, you're probably like, well, why do you keep saying that, Paige? Because I need y'all to know. I need you to start putting yourself on a pedestal. I mean, look at her. Whether you're masculine or feminine, this is someone, listen, they're not going back, okay? 
you're not you're not one of them you're the one okay and that's just what it's giving i just need y'all to understand that what's going to be coming through like i said wherever you are is there's going to be a spark of newness a spark of new intentions new energy a new love for self this is almost giving me the energy of self-love being able to really flow with the world just self and your feminine energy and then being in this place of receiving because you deserve it receiving that new job that promotion that husband that wife that girlfriend that boyfriend that head honey it's giving get that head that breath and leave it's whatever you want that's what it's giving okay overall you guys you know i want these to be quick with this wheel card i just want to let you guys know because you have done the work or when you decide to do the work and really get rid of whatever that devil card energy is i don't know what the fuck that is but you got to get comfortable with the uncomfortable because of some stuff with the people in your foundation or close to you i don't know it's going to be different for everybody but once you do that Although it may be uncomfortable, I'm telling you, it's like good karma coming in because I feel like whatever that was we were picking up on, don't it just feel heavy, like smoky, like dusty? <laughs> yeah, we got to throw that away, blow it away, honey, so that all of this greatness can come in. This is great energy. You know, we were thankful for those lessons that we went through, but Ace of Swords, we got the clarity. Y'all don't have to go, man, I was trying to tell somebody this the other day and I got so fucking frustrated. You know, why do we pass these tests? It's almost like graduating school. Maybe some of you guys are about to graduate. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Maybe y'all started something new and you're about to graduate. There's something being completed here, getting something off the ground and being successful in it. So if you guys are planning to put something out there, it's going to be successful, period, point blank, whatever that is. I see you guys being in this state of new with this page energy, the page of cups. We got the ace of cups. Come on now. It's giving the sun card. This is really good energy, but we got to capitalize. But anyway, back to what I was about to say. I just got so mad and I've been here before but you know I just was so irritated because I'm just like now why the fuck is you putting yourself back in that position and it's like you know we all go back with this wheel card we all fumble back sometimes but I'm just saying like it be them them situations where you really was praying to get out of it why would you go back why is you still letting people play with you uh, this is not giving that this is someone who has recognized who they are their self-love and now they're putting themselves on the pedestal this is a beautiful energy because now you don't need nobody else's validation you are the validation you're the one not the two okay but anyway going into work i'm not sure what you guys do for work some of you guys might not have a job some of you guys may have a job that you like some of y'all have a job that y'all don't like all i'm gonna say is there is opportunity for newness in the workplace this could be a new job this can be a new position at work whatever this is it's it's something that is going to make your situation and work better okay it's like a better outcome it's actually one of the best outcomes so whatever that is for you when it comes to work and what you're doing for work um that's what i'm seeing there this could also be a new opening opportunity but whatever it is it's like a bliss like i'm getting that's really all spirit wants me to say about that it's blissful let me see if there's any advice with work i feel like this is something that's already been coming in we have the king of swords okay so i'm not sure what this is about but what i want to say is your advice when it comes to work is very simple it's just to remember it's like remember your worth it seems like that's the whole like energy with this reading remember your worth okay um do not settle for less if someone's wanting to do a promotion make sure that the price is right Make sure that your boss is going to um, do what they need to do because you've been working here um, for X amount of time and you deserve that. Get what you deserve and be clear about that. Also, make a clear decision. So, you know, think about what it is that you want. Make a clear decision. Execute it. And I'm telling you, it's going to work out in your favor. Okay? This is a better outcome. If y'all been waiting on some type of news with work, I'm seeing very, very good energy. If y'all been wanting a new job, the energy is here. And what I'm hearing from Spirit is leave the other job. Make a decision to leave that job. Do what you need to do with the back end stuff, whether it be to like find another place or blah, 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 whatever the fuck, and do that. 
because it's, it's good energy here. There's really good energy around work. I see y'all getting clarity. I see you guys having the energy to do your work, okay? Because it seems like that might have been lacking. I see you guys being very inspired. So ideas are going to be rolling in. The energy is flowing. I'm seeing multiple customers. It seems like your outcome when it comes to work, especially during this Pisces season, is going to be a lot better, okay? Not with love. Let's talk about this. I'm seeing multiple things. For those that are already in a relationship, now listen, if you had a toxic connection, I'm not about to sit here and condone you being with that person, but you know, P does not judge, been there, done that, you get what I'm saying, don't want to go back. But May, who knows? You listen, this is what I'm saying though. We have Gemini energy, we have Aquarius energy. Oh, we got a lot of air. We have all air actually. Gemini, Aquarius, Gemini, two sixes here. And we got some Libra. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I got a lot to say. <laughs> Hold on. Because, oh, this could go either way. I'm going to tell y'all the scenarios. You pick what you want, okay? Some of y'all, I see someone's eye wandering. Someone's thinking about, like, whether this relationship is going to be the best fit. Because you got options, okay? Um, and with those people, and for those people that have options, I see you meeting multiple people here. The thing about it is, it's like, it's... It's so hard for me to touch on this. I don't know if you and somebody was just on a break and maybe you had your little fun or vice versa. Um, Cause I can go that route as in someone's gonna decide to kind of like take a break from their partner. But then I also have this energy of, there was this new energy about getting back out there, stepping out, whether you've been single, not single, whatever the fuck. Then you meet somebody or re-counsel with somebody. Y'all move to a better place or your mental moves to a better place. But then with this nine of swords, maybe you still think about somebody else. What's going on? I was going to say, what's going on, Aquarius? Because my head's starting to hurt. This is all I'm going to tell you because I am picking up on something here. If y'all have recently met someone new, I'm not saying that you have to make them your uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the fuck. But what I will say is if they are treating you well and if they are, you know, doing right by you, I'm not saying that they got to be the one, but why I go back to that motherfucker that wasn't doing shit? <laughs> that woman or that man that wasn't doing shit for you they they dropped the ball why go back why are we still thinking about them i wouldn't be surprised if some of y'all got exes that is in y'all dreams because you're in this place of wanting to move forward now for those where your relationship like y'all could be married or even if you're not married like maybe y'all just had a little bump in the relationship like a little argument or whatever i feel like you guys are going to be able to come to some type of conclusion so that y'all can work through this and i see y'all working through it okay so it seems like there's going to be a better outcome i don't know some of y'all there might have been some type of infidelity i have to ask about this nine of swords this is all i'm going to tell y'all i feel like y'all have been through a lot so in life in general even with love it seems like when things start going too well you start to question it because with this nine of swords this is giving me something that is self-inflicting um because it's almost like a too good to be true i'm suspicious of it i haven't really been in this energy before like i'm suspicious of this person you know i've never really been you know treated like this before all i'm gonna say is don't self-sabotage in love okay can you tell me about this nine of swords eight of pentacles and we have the five of swords and we have the four of swords okay multiple messages the one that i just said that's gonna be for some of y'all you know it just depends on if you're in a relationship or not but overall let me see give it to me spirit so i can give it to the collective if you're not getting treated right here somebody else would do what this person will not do okay period point blank whatever calmer waters is to you that's what you need to move to now if you do have someone that's new that's treating you right don't start overthinking and start thinking about the past take your time i'm not saying they got to be the one but don't self-sabotage this don't do that now for my other people that are feeling a little bit suffocated okay in their connection in their relationship there might be a need to bring it back to you Slow it down. Go at your pace. You don't have to rush this. Let them know you don't want to rush. Why is the rush? You know, you healing from a lot of shit. Y'all got all this stuff going for you. And it's giving, especially with this Page of Cups, the world, the Six of Wands, and the Wheel, it's very singular energy. Not saying that you guys are single, but um, some of y'all might be. So if you're getting a little bit overwhelmed, take a step back. Shit, you've been through some stuff. It's understandable. But also, with that Five of Swords, something is going to have to get cut in order for you to have a blissful one love life work life 
money, finances, which let's pull on that. What's happening with the money and the finances for my power one? I see some new ideas. Someone is thinking about something and honey, your wardrobe is looking good. Tattoos looking on point, eyebrows looking thick, you're looking luscious. And because you're in this energy, for my masculines, you looking good too. You know, we don't discriminate. Look at that shit, eight of cups. I need you to look at that. Period, that's, that's what it's giving. I know we asked about finances, but I was just shuffling. Y'all are moving through this place of, of fully walking away. Y'all might think that that's where all the abundance was, but I'm just saying, I feel like for some of y'all, y'all gotta start fresh somewhere else, and we got the Lotus here. Janae Aiko's song, Lotus, is coming through. Really quick, y'all, can you tell me the Five of Swords? Somebody gotta get cut off. We got the Three of Wands, and we also have the Queen of Cups. I feel like you guys are very loving people. Even for my masculines, you know, you got people around you, bros, hoes, whatever the fuck, that you feel like have been there. They've been there since day one. How could I just leave? But I'm telling y'all, there are some people or some things in your life right now that are, are really holding you back. And it, it has you in this Three of Wands energy. Three of Wands energy definitely is expansive, right? But it's like, when I think of this as of right now, I'm thinking of someone who is just sitting on this energy and they're not really doing the expanding part. They're just kind of sitting there. No, all these um, ideas coming down, this energy to move forward, however that looks for you, needs to be capitalized off of right now. It's nothing personal. If people gotta go, it's nothing personal. I'm not saying you got to be rude and kick him in the face or nothing, but you know, at the end of the day, this is not about me. I mean, for me, it's about me, but with you, it's not about me. It's not about them. It's about you, Power One, and that's just what it's giving. Okay, what's going on with um, finances for Power One? What do they need to know about their finances? I feel like if work is looking good, then um, the finances is going to be looking good, but you know, let me check. Finances for Power One. Oh, they want me to do a different day. I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> Finances for power one. The Emperor, exactly. I knew it was gonna be good. You stepping in your power, that's what it's giving. Listen, I know every ooh, the hierophant. Come on now. And the ten of wands, you dropping the mother burns. You didn't learn the lesson. You don't have to do this no more. And you know that this is the thing. Or if you're or judgment, look at that. A wake-up call. Listen, if you ain't in that energy where you've already cut people out and maybe even still cutting you because you had that revelation, you're going to be in that energy. And I'm not going to lie, for some of y'all, it's going to be painful. Shit's going to be so heavy to the point where you're just like, damn, where is that shit coming from? You ever, <laughs> something ever stinks so bad, you'd be like, damn, where is that shit coming from? Like, what the fuck? And then you find where it's coming from and what you do, you take it out. Now, when you take it out, do you bring it back in? Fuck no. That's what I'm seeing here for those that have not walked in this energy. And maybe even for some that are still moving through this energy, there might be some, some more shit that we got to get rid of. But with this emperor and this hierophant, I see really good energy around finances. And I feel like it's going to be really good as long as y'all stay in y'all power. Raise your price on yourself and add tax, okay? Literally and figuratively. Um, but just recognizing that you don't have to be there. You don't have to go there. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. You don't got to go backwards because you're going forward. You don't have to step down off your throne. You don't have to do it because you're in a better place. And it's so crazy that so many powerful cards came out. Because I'm not going to lie, Power One, I was worried with the first cards. I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> What's going on? And that could also be... Um, letting me know that y'all might have because this is big energy this is almost reminding me of the energy that I, I've been in okay y'all might have a lot of people from the past try to come back don't get caught up in that I mean it's up to you but don't get caught up in this I see really good energy around finances if you have a business very good okay this is this is giving wealthy big energy Okay, it's giving wealthy and big. That's what it's giving. So yes, pile one, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to pile two. What's up, pile two? So let's see. I know y'all can't see my face, but I'm just like taking a second. Okay, overall energy, we have the page of swords. We have magic, ooh, balance, and we have confidence, okay. I already remember this is big this is big okay for some of you guys you may be going through a another spiritual awakening maybe even your first awakening um but for some of y'all if y'all not resonate with the whole spiritual awakening terminology this is a big level up 
I just got that song. Is it Beyonce? Level up, level up. I don't know. But I just got real big level up type of energy. This is new. I see that y'all got some haters. Y'all definitely got some haters. It's okay though. There's a lot of people watching you guys. I don't know if you guys have a social media platform um, or not, but it seems like there's a lot of eyes on you. This could be in the spiritual realm, but this could also be in real life. I feel like it goes both ways. This also lets me know that you guys are divinely protected at this time and just on period all the time. Okay, we got Leo energy. Um, some of y'all got some abundance coming through because yes, this is the crow. But when I think of the crow too, I, I think of the vulture. And like in my book, for my dream book, um, vultures are a good omen. So this is what I want to tell you. And that's going to be different for everybody. But the way I'm picking up on this, there's a lot of changes. We do have the number 55. There's a lot happening. They keep, oh, I didn't want to do it, but I guess I got to. Woo, I wouldn't be surprised if some of y'all have a Pisces um, Mars. Or if there's been a lot of action up in them dreams. Because it seems like I'm like almost getting drifted away with this energy. I'm not as grounded as I was <laughs> with Pow. Um, one, I'm like almost like drifting. But it's like a dream state. It's very occult-like. It's very hidden knowledge. Some of you guys could also be a Scorpio. Um, I'm not going to lie. Real quick messages. It's not going to be for everybody. But... With this page of swords, I see you guys shifting into this energy where you have a spark of wanting to know something. I'm I'm thinking of something differently. I'm looking at something differently and I'm ready to go after it. Yes, I'm a little bit uncomfortable, but this is what I'm ready to do. This could be literally trying to study something. Maybe you want to try to study something new. Maybe you want to add something di different to the business that you guys already have. Someone's name could be Destiny or their name could start with a D. Um... Some of you guys are starting to recognize that maybe your self-esteem has not been in the greatest place. And now it's like, I'm ready for that shit to be where it needs to be because I'm top tier. I don't know what y'all got going on, but for some of you guys, it's new or it's a new addition to something that you already got going, okay? And I see really good energy around it, something that Spirit is telling me, especially if you guys are doing anything sports-related, um, or you got your own business, you're an entrepreneur, or you're making, um, you're doing spell work, witchcraft, whatever it is, because I am getting some spiritual stuff in here, manifestation work, starting tarot, whatever it is that you're being called to, this could be anything. It's something that you guys are creating, and that could be anything, right? Find balance as you're doing this because you guys are going through a major transition when it comes to your self-esteem. I'm not sure what has happened up until this point, but it seems like... I'm getting Virgo energy here. Oh my gosh. It seems like you guys have a tendency to lack a little bit with self-esteem you know it happens to the best of us but it's not like for some of you guys this could be an all-the-time thing um but for others i feel like it seems like when you start to reach these new lengths that's when you start questioning yourself and spirit doesn't want you to do that because you are more than capable i mean for you to be coming up as the crow the water dragon and the lion please look up all those spirit animals if you feel called this is powerful energy i just heard you can have you can have whatever you like i don't know <laughs> hold on <laughs> There's been a lot of messages coming through about like how everybody could just have what they want. But anyway, we have crows are highly intelligent creatures who possess extraordinary abilities compared to most other birds, such as tool use, fast learning, construction, complex problem solving. I'm telling you, I'm getting a Virgo energy counting and adaptability somebody here has the best of both worlds like y'all got the street smarts but then you also got the spiritual smarts some of you guys have not recognized this yet but you know that there's something different about you you know that you could do a little bit more this almost reminds me of kind of like how i felt before i got into tarot and like this energy that i'm in right now i think i talked about it on one of my videos when i went on this like social media break i was like i don't know exactly what my purpose is right now but i feel like youtube is not the main thing it's not like the main main thing but it's gonna be like the the stepping stool to whatever i'm supposed to be doing like it's gonna be that that middle ground almost like what I'm thinking about right now is like Rihanna, like her music career. And then now we got this whole makeup brand. And it's like, whoa, that's the energy I'm seeing here. So whatever you guys are feeling called to do, go for it. Okay. Period. Point blank. Um, I want to grab some stuff with the confidence. But, you know, at the end of the day, confidence is not something that I can teach you. It wasn't nothing that someone could teach me. You know, it's something that has to happen within. So maybe let's ask ourselves, 
you know, where does that lack of confidence come from? Did you have a parental figure that was very, you know, uh, smothering? Um, they had very high, unrealistic expectations. Is this coming from, um, like, where did you put your validation? Did you put your validation in a person or in an area of life that is no longer there no more or that has failed you in a sense and now you're dwindling, okay? This is coming back to self, understanding and starting fresh. You know, with this page of swords, this is almost like a starting over type of energy. But honey, I don't, let me tell you something something on um, pile two if y'all feel like y'all are starting over starting from square one it's needed because this is big ass energy i'm telling y'all i've been here before this reminds me of how i felt <sighs> Was it last year? It was like, or maybe a couple years ago. It's a certain time that I have in my mind because I feel like some of y'all feel like y'all should be further and I get it. But what has happened thus far was meant to happen because I'm telling y'all it's not going to make sense now, but it's going to make sense later. And I know I'm kind of like going all over the place, but it's like, this is something that I'm not going to be able to really get you to understand because when someone was trying to tell me this about me, um, I wasn't getting it. I'm like, what the fuck is they talking about? But like the energy I'm in right now, it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense why stuff happened, how I've developed, why I, I met certain people, why certain things happened to me. It makes so much sense. So just trust that. That's what I can say. Um, I guess I will pull a card because I'm like, okay, I want to know. So let me see. Main advice with what I'm picking up on right now for Pile 2. Um, for those that are into chakras, work on the self-esteem. Work on finding validation within yourself versus other people. Ask yourself, why is it that I be feeling like not so confident? We have strength. I may be talking to a Leo. What is their advice? Listen, if you guys feel like you're on your own or you're starting over or you're just like a little bit, you know, just in this place of like survival, just I'm telling you. Y'all may not have, let me tell you, look at look how this looks. Y'all may not have people around you physically, like in this physical world, but I'm telling y'all, y'all got people behind you. This is meant, this is giving me ancestor vibe, this is giving me God behind you, this is giving me, that we, we're behind you, 100%. You may not be able to see us, but we're behind you. So let me see, advice, any advice for power two? Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. Three of swords, knight of pentacles, two of pentacles, okay. I am sensing, I, I definitely might be talking to a Virgo or an earth sign. I am sensing that there has been some stuff or someone could have a Virgo moon. There's been something that didn't work out or maybe there's a lot of pain that, you know, leads to this energy that I was picking up on with this lack of confidence or this dwindling confidence. Maybe you get overwhelmed easily. Um, you, you question what you got going on, but you guys are intelligent as fuck. You don't have to. It's already destined. Go with it. That's all I'm going to say about that. But then we have the Ace of Cups exactly. Your advice overall, pile two, is to allow yourself to feel and accept this new. Like, I get it. I get that maybe you ain't really see better. Like, maybe um, your family was rude. Maybe every time before this day... You know, when things were starting to go good and when you were starting to feel good, you know, shit backfired. I get it, but there's so much good energy that's trying to come through so that you could develop from this page of swords to this lion, to this water dragon, and this crow all in one. But you gotta accept the new, allow this new experience to come in. This is giving me very feminine energy in regards to receiving. I don't care if you're a masculine or not. What I'm trying to tell you is there's a lot of stuff that's trying to come to you. You know, picture a masculine sitting back on the throne, money coming in, bitches coming in. <laughs> Suck, no. But for real, like... Don't got to do nothing but be. That's what this is giving. You don't have to do nothing but be. Now, I'm not saying now slack off or whatever it is that you got going on because I do see the page of swords here. So I do feel like there's going to have to be some type of mental effort or some type of going forward. But just I'm telling y'all, trust. Find balance, balance and self-care, but really trust that you guys are going to make it out of this. And I feel like it may be a lonely road. It's, it's lonely at the top, pile two, but this is needed. Period, point blank. Okay, let's keep going. <sighs> I'm not um, frustrated with y'all. I'm just like breathing. Ooh, judgment. So everybody went through this judgment. Ooh, I 
I keep getting the same cards. I'm seeing Judgment and I see the Six of Wands. I'm telling y'all, if you feel called, you can go watch Pile 1. There may be some messages in there um, for you, but I just feel like overall the collective is going through this period where there's just a wake-up call about who the fuck you are. You know, some people are waking up to the fact that they're the baddest bitch in the room. You know, it just is what it's, <laughs> it's giving what it needs to give. Some people are recognizing that they didn't fell off a little bit. So now they got to do something so that they can become the baddest bitch in the room. You get what I'm saying? Everybody's just trying to get to this place. Not the page of swords coming out again. Okay, really quick. If you guys are were thinking about doing something new, oh, please, you guys do it because it's going to be very successful. Um, for example, just to, you know, give you an example of what happened with me. I talk about this all, all the time and then take what you can from it. So with Tara, like I was putting it back and back and back for so long. Finally, I got on my deployment, went through all types of crazy ass shit. Whole story that I'll tell, especially in depth when I get out of the military. But um, it was all this stuff that happened and I finally started Tarot and like, basically I started doing it for no money at all. To now, I ain't gonna like tell the money I make, but like, I make some, listen. I make some good money and I did make some good money on my deployment like so to go from that being a new idea something that kept I felt like it just kept coming to me in visions and stuff like that and to be unsure about it and then I didn't even know I was going to be doing it like you know what I'm saying like doing it on YouTube like you can even tell I'm still a little bit baffled but I'm telling y'all please go after it um if there's something that didn't work out the first time I feel like what I just heard is you have more knowledge this time you've been through more experiences you know what to do differently so expand off of that I got the same cards coming out that came out for the last pile not this five of swords and this three of wands y'all definitely might need to go watch pile one because I am sensing that there are some people that are around you that are not rooting for you that you need to cut off in order for you to walk into this uh, very divine, abundant energy, okay? So definitely if you was feeling called, please go watch pile one, okay? Pile two, there's like heavy ass energy on this. It could be the deck, but I don't think it is. I feel like it has to do with y'all. Ace of Swords, oh my gosh, the same cards are coming out. What the fuck, okay. <sighs> pile two, additional messages for pile two. Those watching, nine of pentacles, okay? Strength. Additional messages for pile two. Additional messages for pile two. One more. I just got that song. I'm rolling, 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 I'm rolling. G herbo. Anyway. Um pile two, messages for pile two. Ten of Pentacles. Exactly. Exactly. You're gonna be set financially. But this is long term. This is not like no fast ass shit. Um, this could already be something that's happening, but this is cultivating what you want. And then this being, you know, everybody wants this fast money, right? And there's no, you know, I'm not knocking nobody, but when you can learn a skill and do something with that and turn that into a business that is making you not only passive income, but it's a skill that you could teach to somebody and then maybe even teach to your kids. It's like, this is generational wealth, honey. That's what this is giving. So take the time. Yeah, it might be a little bit hard right now, Power 2, but this is going to give back. This is what's going to give back to you. And all you're going to have to do is really just sit back and be. That's going to hit for somebody. Okay, well, I did not want to do that. All right, we got the moon card. Strength, the moon, ten of pentacles. All right, what's happening? Well, let me, mm -mm, let, me let me clarify. Why the moon card? I think some of you, exactly. I was just about to say, some of y'all might be in this illusion that you are not a bad bitch. Anytime this comes out, you are a badass being full of love and life and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find your path to your best self. Stop playing with yourself. Who are you playing with? Okay? Three of Pentacles. There might be, there's a lot of Pentacles here. Okay? With that Three of Pentacles, um, I can get really deep on that card. But I'm not going to because I don't want this to be a, a long reading. But all I'm going to say is wherever the root is of your insecurities or lack of self-confidence in certain areas, dive into that. Also, anyone that does artwork, it's time to start selling that shit. Anybody that does anything in the art industry, um, anybody that does something that's like artsy but also like real like practical, I don't know, start selling the shit. Start putting that out there. I'm also seeing someone want to work with you or collaborate with you and it's going to bring you some money. So don't get into this elusive state about who you are or who you think you're not because you are that bitch. You are that man, that ninja. It's giving that. That's what it's giving. Okay? So let's keep going. 
um work what's happening in work for my pal twos messages about work some of y'all have your uh-uh some of y'all have your own businesses <laughs> pal two, some of y'all have your own businesses I'm, I'm getting options i don't know which way to go Ooh, there's a bird I just heard I got a birdie on my shoulder or I got a devil on my shoulder telling me this, telling me that, da, da, da. I don't know, I'm getting a song. <laughs> um, I'm getting endless opportunities. What's happening in work? Yeah, endless opportunities. As I said, the queen of wands and the magician, that's, that's giving bad bitch energy. I mean, and the justice card, I mean, come on now. It's a lot of major arcana here. So what is uh, Pile Two's advice? How to's advice. The Hierophant. Come on now. It's got to be something collected. This is a whole nother deck. And I'm getting very similar cards of power. One King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And we got the Eight of Swords. So when I think of the Eight of Swords, this is someone who is literally causing um, conflict and anxiety on themselves. Now granted, you could be like me and actually have like an anxiety disorder. Whatever the fuck. But even sometimes myself, I'd be like, damn Paige, you ain't even got to be doing all that. You doing this to yourself right now. You ain't even got to be doing all that. So let me talk to you. Because everything that I just said is what it is. But overall, I guess, I think the the main thing I gotta tell y'all is the biggest problem that you guys have, from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of good energy here, is um, getting in your own way. It's like illusion around who you are. Uh, letting people that don't serve you in. Being too trusting of people. Um, doubting yourself. Um, engaging in arguments that you don't need to be engaging in. Um, <laughs> we don't mingle with the commoners. It's giving. But with this Justice card, Queen of Wands, the Magician, the Hierophant, we have Libra energy. You could be any fire sign. I'm really getting Sagittarius too. And we did have Leo up here. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, more that Virgo. Um, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. It, listen. Look, look at her. She got her two fingers up. <sighs> When, listen, do she look like she sits there and questions herself, 1717? Do she look like she asking everybody else for what they think? No, she's giving the orders. That's what it's giving. That's what I see y'all doing at work. Y'all giving the orders. Y'all making the calls. I don't care if you got a boss or not. You're stepping in your power. Oh, I will not be doing that. I don't get paid that much. If I'm going to be doing extra work, pay me more. That's what it's giving. Setting the bar. Raising the price, adding tax. That's what it's giving. Overall, too, if y'all got businesses, um, for my people, my spiritual witches, or any anything, my models, my um, people that do anything creative, if you in the legal system, if you in the um, medicine, medicine, I'm going to say the medical field, or the medicine, medicinal field, <laughs> if you are in the medical field and you work with medicine, okay, I'm seeing like really good energy around that. It's like y'all have options. I feel like y'all might actually resonate with what I posted on my Instagram story about being the chosen one. Um, overall, I'm just getting that y'all have a lot of talents. So I see good energy around, and that's so funny, we got balance here. There's definitely something coming through about balance, okay? So when it comes to work, whatever that means to you, make sure that you balance and you're giving and taking equally, okay? With this Queen of Wands, the Magician, I'm... <laughs> It's just big energy. It's just giving me like I'm feeling good about myself. I'm feeling passionate about what it is that I do. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like I could do anything. I'm actually starting to cultivate new ideas. I didn't been there, done that, learned the lesson, and now I'm not playing with nobody. Yes, I'm balanced, but I also got this sword right here to cut, cut, cut your ass. But it's just this right here, this eight of swords. I need y'all to believe that. And don't get caught up in your mind. Sometimes y'all can overthink too much. And I feel like what needs to happen, this is something that I've been doing, taking it if it resonates, is I've actually disconnected from quite a few people. And I've been working on validating myself instead of looking outwardly for validation in regards to like maybe asking someone, oh, how do you think this picture looks? Or how do you think this is? Stuff as simple as that. And just really asking myself, well, how do you think it looks, P? How do you, how do you think it look? What's going on with you? Put myself first. That's what it's giving. I feel like that needs to be the main focus. You know what I mean? But in regards to work, I'm just seeing a lot of good energy. Um, manifestations coming in. New opportunities. New, a lot of new ideas. I can see a lot of new ideas. So whatever you guys do right now, it's already abundant. But it's like there's more coming in. So capitalize off of that, okay? Now let's ask about love. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Power 2, love. What's happening in love for Power 2? Ace of Pentacles. Oi. Put it on and make him want to marry me. Listen. 
Not gonna lie, I am seeing there could be a water sign, six of cups, someone trying to come back, three of cups, okay? That's gonna be totally up to you on what, whether you wanna invite them in. Ugh. You know, do what you want. But with this Ace of Pentacles, I do see someone coming in to give you some type of offer that I'm almost feeling like, if this is a past person, something that they probably should have been giving you before when you was around. But, you know, hey, um, I'm not going to lie. Some of y'all going to be open to this. Or there's energy around someone from the past, a kindred spirit, we could say, with this Six of Cups. But <laughs> I'm not getting that. I'm getting someone that uh, I just heard. Somebody that I used to know. Oh, they see you as the Empress. I'm not going to lie. I'm seeing somebody um, make an offer of a commitment. You've been gone a little too long for them. You've been bossing up a little too crazy for them and now they want to come back. Eight of Swords, they probably nervous as fuck too. What's going on here in love, okay? With this Ace of Pentacles, I'm seeing good sturdy options coming through. Who is this? Okay, is there an X here? This Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy, we got Scorpio. I just see someone trying to come in to offer you something, but it's almost giving me like... Uh, oh my gosh, me and Alice were just talking about this. That song is coming through. Where your ass was at when I was my future. Where your ass was at. Oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, that's coming through. So it's like, where were they? Why are we here now? Um, I ain't gonna lie, some of y'all gonna be walking away from someone if they're not, if someone's not gonna give you, like if they're not matching all of this up here, I see y'all walking away. It's like, you know, it's just a little too late. It took a little too long for me. But regardless, love life is going to be looking good. Whether you're walking away from somebody, there's somebody new. So if the person that you're with is not um, giving stable, this ain't them. I see y'all leaving them and going towards someone that's more stable. But if you guys are single, I'm seeing some stable options coming in. I am seeing someone from the past. They could be a Sagittarius, a Gemini, or maybe, yeah, look at that. Someone coming back, but I don't know if y'all, <laughs> yeah. They dropped the ball anytime I drop something. Like, they dropped the ball, but the four cups, cancer energy. It's like, eh, eh, eh. I, I feel like this person video dreams. Y'all probably got this person blocked. Scorpio energy coming through here and Libra. Y'all probably got this person blocked. Now I ain't gonna tap any, any more in that energy. Y'all probably got this person blocked. Or there's been like a resistance. It doesn't matter. They're coming in. So I see, at the end of the day, I see y'all being on top. So if you are in a connection right now, I feel like... There's new stable energy coming in with you and your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever the fuck, right? I feel like y'all wasn't on the same page at first, but now you guys are going to be able to meet each other at a common ground. I feel like your person is going to be stepping it up to the plate or whoever, one of y'all, and it's going to bring a lot of like balance in the connection. What I'm hearing though, I think I told Pile One this, is don't self-sabotage this. If you didn't forgave this person and y'all have both agreed to move into a better place, that's just what it is. <laughs> Let's not move backwards. Let's not question this, okay? There's that. Also, some of y'all got some really insecure partners, but you know, who I'm not touching on that. But yeah, I just see really good energies for the singles and for the people that are in connections. Well, let me say it like this. If you're in a connection, and it's not toxic y'all just had a little hump or even if y'all didn't have a hump i see good energy with y'all kind of like bringing in new it's like new stable energy we're not being childish no more we're not focusing on the past no more we're trying to move forward we're getting back into what we used to do but we're not focusing on the bad parts of the past this is almost giving me an energy of maybe like a couple got a little too comfortable um and it's like damn you don't even do what you used to do like the good stuff i feel like y'all gonna be coming back to that and it's almost like a nostalgic good type of energy now for those where it's like toxic and your person just ain't they ain't stepping up I'm, shoo, okay okay um i see an offer being made however wherever you are in this if you know your connection has been good whether y'all are in a committed relationship or you guys are just talking and trying to progress i see an offer like a more stable offer being made for some of y'all like i said there's next coming in this is, there's a stable offer being made somewhere, but I do feel like something's gonna have to be walked away from. From some of you guys, that is just walking away from the past in regards to past emotions. For some of y'all, this is the past as in an ex or like just walking away from something that you thought was beneficial. It's so hard doing these general readings and then trying to touch on all these like, <laughs> all these different scenarios like, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, some of y'all definitely gonna be walking away from somebody, but then you're gonna be walking into better. It's like you didn't recognize who you are, so it's a good outcome 
regardless of how you flip it, tip it, rub it down. And if that didn't, you know, if it got confused, I'm sorry. But it gets, it gets confused and trying to explain this shit to however many people are watching this bitch, okay? So yes, pile two, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and we're gonna move on to pile three. Pile three, what's going on? Oh my gosh, what's that song? And I love him, Six Lack. Is it Six Lack, Six Black? We be saying Six Lack, but I'm almost positive it's just black or something. I don't know, but I be listening to the music. And that song, Steady Calling My Phone. I told you before that it's over. Leave me alone, because I can do it on my own, period. That's what it's giving. And we got, oh yeah, this is that pile. Ooh, we got the Nine of Cups, Phoenix Renewal, and we got the B Power. Another song that I was channeling for you guys was Meg's song, um, is a God's Favorite. I played it on my Instagram today. But it was like, skin glowing, something, 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 in Jamaica, some, something, something, something. Bitch, I'm highly favored. This is what I want to tell y'all. This is giving good energy. The thing about y'all is, it's like, I feel like, because intuitively I felt the need to ask, what is it that is hidden from pile three? Like, what's their hidden strength that they just don't know about or they're having a hard time accepting? And it seems like you're having a hard time accepting just how powerful you are. Um, it's like you guys don't give yourself enough credit. You guys are the phoenix. You are the beast. Some of you guys could resonate with Oshun Ifa. This is what I wanted to say, right? We have the number 5928228 Um, Someone could run track. We have 1971. That could be a important date here. Color purple. It's a lot of lower chakra energy coming through here along with this throat chakra. So I feel like with this blue, I feel like y'all are at a point where you're starting to recognize who you are. But some of you guys, it's like, if y'all, let, let's say if y'all right now was like, yeah, I know I'm powerful, but you're even more powerful than that. That's what it's giving. You guys got to recognize that. Y'all done been through a lot of shit that a lot of people would have been folded if they had to go through it. Period, point blank. Don't ever let somebody make you feel like you have not earned your stripes. When I think of this nine of cups, first of all, I feel like a lot of you guys are either in or are transitioning into or need to be in a more... It's not giving necessarily solitude, maybe for some of you guys, but it's selfish. This is someone who recognizes their power, their value. Energy is expensive. Your energy is expensive. You have worth. And it's like, that's what needs to be recognized. And if it is recognized, it needs to be amplified. Now, I ain't saying go out here and be a cocky motherfucker. No. But like, with this B power, even just bees being hard workers, it's like, y'all got that. Do you know what a bee does? Like, if you really look at what a bee does, like, it's such a small creature. Some of y'all might even resonate with black sheep. But it's like, this is giving me chosen one energy. But it's like, it's such a small creature. But like, what does it do? It like pollinates all the flowers. It could do so fucking much. And then it could sting your ass, if need be. It's almost like giving life and helping in the whole cycle. You are a major key. And then we also have the Phoenix Renewal. The bird literally, like, what, dies and then, like, turns into dust, ashes, and then comes back up new from ashes. Come on, y'all. Like, this is giving. Like, who do you know do that? And that's the main thing that's coming through for y'all. There's just, like, an energy of can you please recognize who you are. And now I'm starting to understand why they was trying to tell me to use this deck for this pile. This is, like, my, my bad bitch deck. But, like, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, but now I see I totally forgot about the cards. Hold up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, the number 14 might be significant. Yes, I had to <laughs> add that in my head. I swear. <sighs> math sometimes just don't be it. I love geometry, but just regular math. If someone was like, well, what's 7 plus 8 plus 9? I'm like, uh, uh, uh. Anyway. Okay, I just heard the math ain't math. And, um, okay, let me see. What is Pile 3's advice? What's Pile Three's advice? I just heard be more selfish with your um, energy, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Your energy is valuable. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. The Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the World card. Come on now. Recognize who the fuck you are. Queen of Wands in reverse. It's like y'all don't, y'all have not recognized. Now, what I will say is be careful of getting a little too cocky and arrogant. But for others, it's like you haven't recognized. It's like. You're still stuck in this nine of wands energy where it's just survival mode. I always got to fight and fight myself and fight my confidence and fight, fight, fight. No, 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 no. You don't got to do none of that. 
You don't gotta do none of that no more. You done been there, done that. You done been there, done that. I mean, what is this, a cow or like a buffalo? We got this lion, this, this boy, and then or woman, whoever that is right there, and this hawk. What this is giving me, this is one man. A one man band that just went through all of that. Just picture it like this. I know this is, <laughs> I know I'm childish with how I describe stuff, but think about it. Here he is, don't got no type of armor on. He's still completed, whatever it is that he completed, okay? And he was very focused. This is fixed energy right here. But look at this right here. He then went, probably like blocked out, or let's let's just say he fought these things off. Or no, no, these are the, these are the uh, <laughs> attributes. So not only does he have the knowledge of man, but he also got the keen senses of a hawk and the drive and the grit of a bull and then also the strength of a lion. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all was doubting me what I was about to explain until I just explained it. Yeah, that made so much fucking sense. I know it. So it's like your advice is to walk into your power. Now, what I will say about this Six of Wands and this Ten of Pentacles, um, there's a lot of wealth coming towards you, a lot of grounded energy, a lot of um, luxury I just heard generational wealth i feel like this is kind of building off of pile two it's so funny these piles are building off of each other which is how it goes but it's like even for pile two i was like oh yeah y'all might want to go watch pile one but it's like it was only for like a, a little tidbit that's the same thing i'm getting here i'm not saying that the whole reading is for you but there's a tidbit in there you know and i won't tell you what it is but it, it's definitely giving because the same cards are coming out but with this Ten of Pentacles, your um, advice is to start looking long term. You don't have to be in survival mode any longer. Now it is time to st like still build and have that masculine energy coming through. But start cultivating in the real world towards whatever your long term goals are. Really start putting that out there because it's going to be successful. You guys have went through so much. You guys are very smart. You have a lot of hidden talents and just talents period. And it's time to actually put that out there. I have to ask about this queen of wands in reverse why the queen of wands in reverse some of you guys can question yourself we have the magician yeah like it's like oh two things somebody here could be a little bit of a because sometimes when i get the queen of wands in reverse this is someone who's a little bit they're not really using their energy in the best way okay a little manipulative but i'm gonna try not to go there so if you in that energy just watch yourself okay <laughs> don't don't do too much but what i'm saying is for those that are like struggling with their self-confidence um there's like this energy of like recognize who you are you are the magician not only are you the queen of wands you're, you're higher than the queen of wands you're the magician gemini virgo energy you can create anything i feel like y'all might have thought that you only sat in one realm because when i think of the queen of wands as of right now i'm getting like this energy of the fire element i have mastered the fire element okay maybe even a little bit of some water coming through here okay or something i can't remember if it's water or if it's a uh, swords energy but what i'm saying is it's almost like there was this cap on the elements that you have accomplished the goals that you could have the talents that you have what it is that you could do in this world right but with the magician i feel like you guys are going to be walking into this space where you're starting to recognize that you're actually more than what you think you are and this is already big energy i was, I was gonna say big dick energy this is already big energy but this magician card this isn't just someone who's doing just one thing this is multiple things hands in different pots and, and doing well and doing very fabulous that's what it's giving with this full card so i feel like you guys are going to be walking into this period where you're starting to real real <laughs> feel really good someone's name could start with an r and that's the thing too for real to be coming through i just heard true um two chains but um i feel like you guys are really recognizing your true essence and that's what you guys are going to be walking into and once that happens go full force now what i will say about the six of wands this is a great card but the Six of Wands, right before the Six of Wands is the Five of Wands, okay? Right after the Six of Wands is the Seven of Wands. So y'all done already went through, y'all done, you know, the grit was there, you didn't battle what you need to battle, you didn't you cut off people, whatever the fuck, okay? You got there, right? You got there. However, it's not over just yet because with this energy, with this Ten of Pentacles meets the Six of Wands and you accomplishing stuff, it's like you doing stuff that a lot of people don't do. Simple stuff that you think is simple is really not simple to a lot of people and I've been starting to recognize that. You know, I always thought I was the majority, but I'm not. I'm like the minority. That's what it's giving. Start adding 
adding the tax. I'm telling you, raise that price, add that tax on yourself because you are expensive, honey. You're expensive. Your energy is expensive. What you have to offer is expensive, and you guys are going to be recognizing that. But anyway, with the six of wands going into the seven of wands, I mean, gosh darn it, is it do do famous people be watching my shit? I be wanting to know who the fuck be on my stuff because it, it's like real. It's like big energy. Like it's huge energy. Not saying that you have to be famous, but it's like real wealthy energy that be coming through. I don't know. Anyway. But this six of wands, it's like, when you look at the seven of wands, sometimes you can see the six of wands as it'll be a bunch of people around this guy on the horse or whoever the fuck on the horse, they're up there, they're praising him, some of them kind of look a little weird, whatever. But then when you go into the seven of wands, it's like all them people then turn it back on those. So just be careful of your environment. Um, let me see, what's the advice with the six of wands? Be watchful, there could be an earth sign in your environment that you need to watch out for. Let, let's ask this. Who does Pile 3 need to uh, be weary of or maybe, you know, be watchful of? Cut the fuck off. We have the Nine of Swords, okay. Who is this person? Gemini energy is coming through. This could be someone that you've already been questioning. We have the Devil card, Capricorn energy. What I say, a nurse sign. And this Queen of Cups. This could even be someone that you're in a relationship with. Ooh, this is giving me that energy of, oh, the pussy good, oh, the dick good, but you know, ah, something. It's more coming. It's more coming with it. You could have an opportunist friend around you. Okay, we're not gonna dive too deep. Let's let's put it back. But just know, it's gonna be different for everybody. I would not be surprised if y'all start seeing people show their ass as you walk through this energy but let's keep going what's happening in career i am seeing a toxic feminine around y'all i'm not gonna lie especially if you're a masculine that does like feminines or a male that likes females i'm just saying just saying um fire sign okay <sighs> ooh, 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 ooh. i don't know why i just did that all right um career my pile of threes what's happening in career the energy is high because the last pile was getting kind of drained but i'm not really getting drained here Ooh. i said slow down dude i just want to get to know you so maybe some of you guys um need to slow down in some areas you know self-care ten of swords what's happening with career some of y'all might be leaving a job to go um independent it's giving it Ten of Swords is happening in career. We have the Four of Swords and we have the Empress. Okay. And we have the Hangman. Okay. Multiple things coming through here. I feel like this is happening for a lot of people because of just the age that we're in. Um, I would not be surprised if you guys start to question what you do for work, how you do it, who you work with, who you work for, if you work for anybody. Um, you're starting to change your views on what work looks like to you. I feel like you guys are going to be transitioning out of a state uh, feeling like you have to mentally be bound by work and you know however you gain your finances and you're going to be going into more of a receptive place more of a passive place and more of a place that actually serves you for some of y'all this could be your hard work finally paying off and now it's passive income coming in some of y'all might be ending a toxic job um some of y'all might be ending Maybe you won't walk away from the job just yet, but you have now recognized that you are in this Empress energy. You have more to offer, whether you're masculine or feminine. This is almost giving me the energy of, yeah, I might not be able to leave this job right now, but I am now, just now, starting to come to the realization that this job is not for me. It's doing more harm than good. So now what I'm going to do is, as time progresses, I then went from ten swords to four swords, right? We got the ten of swords and we got the four swords. Yes, I still got some swords here, but they're no longer in my back. I feel like we're going backwards. We're going back to what does my soul need in order for me to be abundant? So I feel like there are going to be some decisions that need to be made in regards to work. And we did see the hangman. So there's going to have to be a sacrifice. Um, some of y'all, I don't think you're necessarily making that um oh do got the king of swords some of y'all i don't think you're making that decision as of right now but you will be now for others y'all might be like no nah, fuck this job p i'm done i also see a vacation coming in if y'all could take leave or some type of vacation away from this job um i see that happening also for those that already work independent i feel like you guys are going to find out what is causing this mental anguish um or anguish and then you're gonna get rid of it um, separate it, do something, maybe organize your thoughts, um, rest more. Some of you guys need to rest more, give more to yourself, more self-care, um, and then things are going to kind of ease up for you. Okay, what's happening in love for my pile three? Mmm, it's not this eight of swords. Ooh, she bound up. Why this eight of swords? 
it seems like there's a lot of mental overthinking. You guys don't have to be such an overthinker. You guys are powerful. I just want to say that. But anyway, what's happening in love? It's at bottom two. Okay. It's this earth sign that keep coming through in the readings. Okay, anything else? So y'all have two options coming towards y'all in love. Um, yeah, there's a lot of earth energy. We got the two of wands. Lord Jesus, and the two uh, of coins. So this is the thing. Because some of y'all is definitely in relationships. At the end of the day, um, this is what I'm seeing. For the people that's in a relationship, I'm seeing where maybe there's been a lot of questioning whether this was going to take off or whether this was going to be something worth investing in because maybe the other person was moving a little too slow for you. I finally see them picking up the pace. Um, I feel like with this specific individual, um, you, you would probably rather them. You might not know it, but you might rather them move a little bit slower than faster because when they move too fast, it might be one of those things where they jump into something and they like end up leaving. It's very sporadic. But I see like a progression with uh, the relationship. It just seems like someone's questioning or they're just, it's almost giving me that energy of when someone gets cold feet right before they're about to get married. Um, but I see like a slow progression in a like a partnership and I feel like this progression is going to create a sense of being comfortable with each other and at that point it's going to help both of you guys to be able to feel is this for us or do I deserve better or okay um, we're in a good place do we want to move in together do we want to have kids it's, it's going to get the juices flowing okay now for my other people I'm not going to lie there's someone here and it's so crazy with their crazy tail cells and I feel like you guys have um control all deleted you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you guys have progressed into this energy above and now it's like they want to come back. Especially if they're an earth sign or a Gemini. But I don't really think you guys are having it. I can see them, this person right in you and you just looking at it. Looking at the calls. 16 missed calls. Oh! I don't even have the words, Brent. Fire. 16 missed calls. That's what it's giving. Knight of Pentacles. You took too long. <sighs> Y'all have learned the lesson when it comes to love, so I feel like you guys are not settling for less. So are there a lot of options coming in? Yes. Are you guys going to be picking up a lot of them? No. I feel like, especially for my people that are single, you are not settling for anything less. However, and I'm not going to get too deep on that because I don't want this to be too long. However, I want you guys to know that there's multiple options coming through when it comes to your love life so please take your time and don't feel rushed one of them could be an option um in regards to like let me see how do you want me to say that it seems like one of them is going to be like a good option for marriage for somebody here okay let me see what else any other additional messages for pile three what they don't see coming pile three ten of cups queen of pentacles hmm I'm telling you that money is about to be looking real good. I'm getting a bliss around something that you've been wanting. Finance is looking good. Emperor, I'm telling y'all, it, it, that's just what it's giving. I'm getting really good energy with this pile. I'm not getting any bad energy that was coming through or anything that might not have been in line with this positive energy. I feel like it might be self-inflicted or it's like old people trying to come back and trying you. But besides that, y'all, this is giving blissful energy. So trust that. So if you've been feeling like you're walking into a greater period, please trust that. With this Six of Pentacles, make sure that if you're giving to other people energetically, that they're giving back equally. And if they're not, it's a cut, cut, kaboom, okay? Also, make sure that you are saving your money. Let it be equal. Let everything in your life be equal there has to be like a balance a sense of equality okay whatever that means for you but i see really good energy around money and i also see y'all attracting somebody that's on y'all motherfucking level if you are already with somebody and things are already good i see it getting better your partner is going to finally step up to the plate and give you what it is that you've been asking for and vice versa it's like you guys are both now aligned. So yes, pile three, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And we're going to move on to pile three. Pile four, you could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, or an Aries, or have those placements. Or there might be something that's going to be happening or significant that kind of happened during Aquarius season and possibly springtime, okay? All right, they're telling me to keep them. So we might have some reversals come through here. I just heard, pay attention to the fine details. There might be a little bit of rushing. Take your time. We have the hangman. Ah, that's crazy. Patience. Oh my gosh. And longevity. Oh my gosh. 
okay. You know what's crazy, Pile 4? I feel like anytime this card comes out, like this, this card touches me. And I was actually drawn to this pile, so let's see. Outside of myself real quick. Pisces energy coming through. I feel like from now and on you guys have hit another level with your mind right whatever that may be and i feel like there's a lot of energy around what's going to wow that's crazy the ten of pentacles i i can hear my guys so clearly right now they said the top and the bottom and we have judgment it's like there's a major wake-up call on what is going to bring you generational wealth y'all actually might have been drawn to pile one um maybe even pile two maybe all the piles i don't know but mainly i'm getting pile one it's like there needs to be a sense of paying attention to the signs, whatever they're bringing you. But also there's a light shining on whatever it is that you guys got going on that's showing you the path. I know that was very deep and very spiritual, but that's just what it's giving. Because with this hangman energy, I don't care how young you are or whatever your age is. I am getting someone that's younger, especially since I was drawn to this pile. But even if you aren't, it's like your energy is in this place of, uh, I just got a Gerber baby. It's in this place of like a rebirth, right? And I, they just keep telling me to tell you, like, move, not necessarily just move slow, but be patient with yourself. Be patient with your plan. Sit back. Take the time to pay attention to the intricate details. Read the fine print because whatever it is that you are building and cultivating and wanting to go into is going to provide you long-term wealth. We have the Ten of Pentacles and we have longevity and we have patience. Slow and steady wins the race. With this judgment card, you have been through a lot. The Lotus. Have y'all ever like really read into the Lotus? Y'all gotta look at it. Someone could resonate with the sand mud, baby. It's, it, that's just what it's giving. You've been through a lot. So I feel like you guys might be someone like myself who, I'm, I'm coming out of it now, but I was very much so stuck in a survival mode, right? But what I'm hearing from you guys is you don't have to do that no more. Now, I'm not saying don't be quick with it and be on your toes, especially for my Aquarians. But what I'm saying is, it's like you don't have to be in survival, no, in survival mode no more. Some of you guys could have a North Node in Libra or any of these signs that I've already uh, listed. But it's like you don't have to be in that energy of always trying to survive and fight. You can now <sighs> take a deep breath. Now, no, don't be lazy now. You know, because when I think of the hangman, the way I'm thinking about it right now is this is someone who, yes, they're tied up, but I'm more so seeing this as somebody who is deciding to tie themselves up. They're deciding to stay there because he could easily do a little crunch, a little ab work and literally release that foot. So for some of you guys, if you are holding back because of fear and not wanting to make that sacrifice so that you can move into whatever this other energy is, there may be a need to do that. Now, I'm not saying rush it, but I do feel like there are going to be some things that are going to be revealed to you so if there's been any questions about the people in your environment or what you should do next i feel like it is a smart move to sit back for a second but not just sit back lollygagging no sit back and observe that heat coming behind him that sun there's enlightenment coming behind you there's a lot of like showing you the way you know what i'm saying it's right behind you it's shining it's showing you I'm literally getting a visual here. So if y'all feel like y'all have to wait on something, I can see that. If your intuition has been telling you to do that, I can see that. And trust that it's going to be revealed to you. And this could have to do with a multitude of things. Leaving a job, cutting off people, um, pursuing something, going after something, not going after something, whatever it is, okay? Also, when I think of the praying mantis, um, this reminds me of when I played basketball and I would block shots. So when I think of the praying mantis, they literally, when I think of their mind, they compute their prey and like it, it, it's almost like they design I don't want to say it it's like they study their prey in order to like get ahead so the best way I could describe this um in regards to like basketball sorry I'm up here swallowing I'm thirsty as fuck but I don't feel like getting up y'all my last pile is when I would watch somebody because I was really good at blocking shots um, some people would just block shots. No, like I always, I don't know, my mind just works like a little computer. I would always watch their feet and like the angle that they were at and watch how they stepped. And I noticed 
that each person obviously they had their own pattern like of how they step before they took their shot especially when they're close to the hoop so with each person you know my coach would get fucking mad with her crazy ass she would get mad if I wouldn't block the shot the first time because you know with big people they love trying to call a foul on us when we really ain't even touch nobody but anyway you gotta be smart so I had to start really studying I'm like watching the feet watching this or oh, they jump or oh, they do two steps and then they jump okay boom or they do like this and they go boom okay and I might not have hit that first time maybe even that second time but that's because I was taking the time to study them or whatever it is that y'all gotta say take the time to study it because longevity wise once I got oh this is crazy once I got into that mode of knowing their pattern I was able to block I was also able to now on um, multitude or a multitude of games be able to watch other players and block them you know what I'm saying and really like help out the team and score some big points like it was a lot so that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here thank you so much spirit for letting that come through like that we have the strength card the queen of swords someone definitely could be an Aquarius here and we have the five of wands okay so I am seeing some competition first of all i see y'all beating out the competition but i also see people um kind of putting themselves in competition with you because i'm seeing the queen of swords and i'm seeing the five of wands um like i said there might be also some jealous exes not this two of cups coming up in reverse in the three of swords okay be careful of exes okay let me see because <laughs> it's a lot coming down right here what's happening career career messages or actually general messages any other general messages for pile four Why is Brent Fires coming through? What's that song? Fuck. What's that song? I can't think about it right now, but there's a song. But I feel like he was basically talking about his girl and like, is it beauty? Beauty ain't no issue for someone like you. And that's so crazy! Uh, to the Cubs and the Knight of Wands. Yes, there's someone that one shot. Okay, I see a lot of love interest coming in. Just know you're gonna have options. You don't have to take the first thing that's coming through. Patience is key during this period of moving forward. Um, I do see some people from the past coming up. Also, don't get swept up in this Venus energy where you're just so caught up in love that you're not seeing the truth of the situation. But also, I'm just seeing really, I'm seeing options power four like i don't know who there's someone that got their eye on you you are very fine to them um they could be a fire sign or maybe even a pisces we also have the eight of swords who is this person the hangman um i'm not gonna get too into it until we get to love but i do feel like there's someone that's like i don't know you kind of like intimidate them or something like that but like there's something about anxiety around you i don't know if this is an ex y'all might know who that is gemini energy was coming through yeah, did y'all just recently like cut somebody off or like deny an offer? I don't know what's going on. But anyway, <laughs> career for my pile four. I feel like y'all main message was what I just gave y'all. I'm not taking the bottom six. Okay. Oh, sorry. We're having a moment. Messages for pile four in regards to career. Career messages for pile four. What to expect? Pile four. Y'all have a lot of people that look up to you. I don't know, because I keep looking at these kids right here. We have the lovers, what's happening in career. Ooh. We have the eight of cups, who leaving a job? The nine of wands, tired of fighting. This is the thing, the world card, exactly. I'm not gonna lie, it seems like everybody and their mama leaving a job or having a, a revelation on what they not gonna be settling for when it comes to career. So with this lovers card, the eight of cups, the nine of wands, and the world card, not gonna lie, um, and if, if it's not your message, it's not your message, but I do see, um, whoever I'm supposed to be connecting with, I do see y'all making a decision or coming to the conclusion that you don't want to stay here no more, um, that you could probably have better, that I just got Stockholm Syndrome from this card. Yeah, you might love this job. Maybe this job was where it was at before. Maybe you even saw yourself doing this long term, but at the end of the day, it's not healthy. There's a revelation around not, what's not healthy, what you, um... It's like you don't want to be in survival mode all the time. You don't want to be in an uncomfortable position. So you're deciding, hey, been there, done that, did what I need to do here, learned what I needed to learn, and now it's time for me to move on. I just see you guys completing and moving forward. Now, for others where life is good and work is good, I just see, 
I feel, mm, let me see. No, I feel like that might be the message, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. King of Pentacles. Yeah, no. I, I'm definitely seeing the first message. <laughs> I feel like regardless of the fact, there's a lot of, I'm putting myself first in career. I'm not about to let y'all bring me down. I'm not about to let y'all talk to me any type of way. I'm beating out the competition. I'm getting promoted. I'm gonna make sure I'm at peace at work. I don't give a fuck what's going on in this bitch. That's what it's giving. Okay, what's happening in love for, let me put this over here. I get like a child like energy from this pile. Um, what's happening in love for my pile four? Ooh, that looked like a vagina to me. I shouldn't have said it like that, I'm sorry. But doesn't it like a female part? I don't know, can't see it, but we have the five of pentacles and love. I'm telling y'all, there's somebody that was coming through, queen of swords, yeah. Two of wands, yeah. There might've been two different people that y'all cut off or y'all might be cutting some people off. There's a lot of people trying to come back. But the thing about it is, I feel like there are two people, right? That y'all might've cut off. That's about to try to come back, but they're not necessarily, it's not giving the three of wands energy just yet. For those that are familiar, the three of wands is that action type of energy. Yes, we have wands energy here, but it's almost like there's still a plan. So if y'all been picking up on energy of someone coming back, I see it here. Um, we have Taurus energy. We also have Aquarius and we also have Aries. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What's happening in love? I'm y'all making the necessary cuts. Y'all are not settling for anything less than what you deserve. Page of Pentacles. I really feel like some of you guys are just, you're looking forward. Yeah, Ace of uh, Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you guys don't want, there's an offer coming in, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like it's for, from a past person, but I feel like you guys don't want what the past had to give no more. You are now trying to look at how can I get forward? How can I walk into energy that's not gonna be burdensome with this Ten of Wands? Now, for some of y'all, we got the Five of Cups and we got the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And this is where I got to talk to y'all because I feel like some of you guys, it's like there may be something in regards to love that you guys are still holding on to that may be a little bit toxic. Um, and, and what I'm just hearing is you don't have to. You don't have to do that. So go watch Pile 1 for sure with this Five of Cups. There, and if you're not in that energy and you are solely in this Queen of Swords energy, I'm telling you there's some exes coming back. There's some exes coming back. But this is what I want y'all to see. You let one of these exes come back in, this is what you're gonna get. Don't that look painful? Don't that look painful? Mm -mm. Who wants that? Who wants that? Yeah, they look good. Yeah, they might have changed a little bit, but it's like the base of this tree, regardless, is that skull. Mm -mm. Come on now. Two of Pentacles, don't forget what they did. If they ghosted you, left you out, don't forget. Don't, don't be full, Power 4, don't be full. So yes, I think that's all I'm gonna tap into because I'm getting tired. So yes, Power 4, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates. And um, yeah, if you guys want more messages, go watch Power 1 and Power 2. That's what I'm gonna say with that because I'm going to sleep. But yes, Power 4, that was your spread. Please let me know how it resonates and I'll see you guys down below in the comments.